Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does the judicial branch of government establish environmental law? Environmental law is a complex web of regulations, policies, and statutes designed to protect the natural environment, human health, and natural resources. The process of establishing environmental law involves multiple branches of government, with the judicial branch playing a crucial role in its interpretation, application, and enforcement. Legislative process. Environmental laws are initially created through the legislative process. A member of Congress proposes a bill, which must be approved by both houses of Congress and then signed into law by the president or overridden by a two-thirds majority in both houses if vetoed. Codification and regulation. Once a law is passed, it is codified in the United States Code, USC, and often requires regulations to be implemented. Government agencies, such as the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, are authorized to create these regulations, which set specific requirements for compliance. Judicial review. The judicial branch becomes involved through judicial review, where courts assess the legality of government actions and decisions related to the environment. Courts ensure that these actions comply with applicable laws and regulations, such as the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA, and the Clean Air Act. Interpretation and enforcement courts interpret legal provisions and principles, establish precedents, and provide guidance for future cases. They can also resolve disputes involving environmental harms or violations of environmental permits, thereby enforcing environmental law. International and global cooperation. The judiciary participates in global environmental governance by collaborating through informal transgovernmental networks. This cooperation helps in exchanging information and best practices, ensuring consistent enforcement of environmental laws at the national and international levels. Capacity building and education. Judicial bodies, with the support of organizations like the International Network for Environmental Compliance and Enforcement, INAE, work to strengthen the capacity of judges, prosecutors, and legislators in understanding and enforcing environmental law. Balancing developmental and environmental needs. The judiciary balances environmental and developmental considerations in judicial decision-making, ensuring that development projects do not compromise the well-being of ecosystems and future generations. Public participation and transparency. Courts ensure that public participation and transparency are maintained in environmental decision-making processes. This includes requiring agencies to prepare detailed environmental impact statements and to consult with other federal agencies and the public. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.